Hey, Chris Duncan here. This is video three of four. Uh, and in this video, I want to talk to you about how to sell to groups without being pushy, uh, which I think is something that most of us want to do is we're going to get sales, but we don't want to have to you know, lose our integrity to do it. The key is this, is if you can understand people and that they always move away from pain and towards pleasure and that they do actually want to, to take action, they do actually want their problem solved, you can understand that what you really need to do is be able to communicate in a different way that helps someone say yes. Here's what's interesting. There are four emotions and four pieces of clarity you must give someone in order for them to make the decision that they actually want to take action on what you're doing. What I've found is presenting to be by far the easiest way to communicate this to people. Now, why are people not buying from you? This is a question that I ask a lot of people and they don't normally get the right answer. And they say, well, my product's not as good as others or I don't have enough leads or they give every reason. I want you to write this down. The number one reason why people are not buying from you is, is simple, is they do not believe that the product or promise that you have will lead them to more satisfaction and less pain. They don't believe it. See, they have all sorts of beliefs. They have beliefs about how it won't work for them. They have beliefs about how maybe what you're offering isn't right or that they believe, but it's about belief. So when you're putting on your presentation, you're not trying to convince someone. You're helping them to understand and believe and, and experience how what it is that you're doing is going to be a really good decision. So the four pieces of clarity that you must help someone realize is first, they must be clear about the problem the gap, what's what's not uh, working in their life. They've got to get clear on what that is. And many people aren't clear on the problem. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'll draw this out, but see, they they see the problem is, is well, their trajectory in life is like this. So that, you know, here's growth. And can you see that? Yeah, there's there's growth and there's time. And, uh, and, and they, they're, they're kind of growing like this. And what they would like to be doing is growing like that. So that's where they want to be. They see the difference between these two and they say, well, that's the problem. They say, I've only got this much, but I want to have that. They say that's the problem. What they don't realize is that back here, this part here, this part that actually created the gap, that's actually the problem. And you have to help them do this. So I want you to write this down. What you want to help them understand is not just the gap, not just the bit here between the two, but actually the reason why. If you help someone to understand the reason why they have the symptom, see, they just turn up with the symptom. They just know that, well, I'm here in my life and I'd like to be there. They know the symptom, but they don't understand the reason why. When you help them to understand the reason why they get the first piece of clarity, which is problem clarity, okay? The second piece of clarity is the, the path, okay? The path. So now they know the reason why they have the symptom. They go, oh, that's why. They've had the diagnosis. Now what's the path? How do I actually fix the problem? How do I get out of this? So then you show them the path, okay? The path needs to make sense to both the left side of their brain, logic, and the right side, the emotion. So you explain the path, okay? Uh, the next thing is you must explain how you're the right person, okay? How your company or you is the right person. And, and this is done by sharing your story. Every single one of us have a story about how we create the product, about how we know what we know, about how we do what we do, explain to the other person. And the last one is the product and the promise. Okay, so four pieces of clarity all start with P. First, the problem, or what causes the problem. Uh, second, uh, you want to help them know the path, the person, and then lastly, what it is it that you do. Now, your product doesn't have to be anything amazing, really. It just has to be better than them doing it themselves. See, what I found to effortlessly and uh, easily persuade, I think about 38, well, not think, I know, actually, over 38,000 people through our programs last year, is that if I can help them understand the problem, understand how to solve the problem, understand how I'm a good person to help them with, with solving this, and then explain, finally, uh, you know, that my product is better than them doing it themselves, I find that they really get it. However, even though they get it and they've full, got full structural tension in their life, and they go, that's what I need to do. It's emotion that pushes them over the line. So there are four pieces of clarity and then there are four emotions. They are hope, trust, urgency, and excitement. So hope, hope is a, is a desire for the future to be better. Excitement is seeing yourself doing that future and feeling it working out, okay? Trust is the person who won't let me down and urgency as I must do it right now. Now, when I have this in my mind, I'm trying to get four pieces of uh, clarity and four emotions. And, and as I'm, I'm doing that, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, how do I guide someone to these? And so instead of me trying to convince or sell or teach, I'm helping to guide someone to it. 
And, and I actually did a lot of public speaking. In fact, about 130,000 people came to my talks between uh, 2012 and 2016. And I developed a system. 2018, I actually stopped teaching the system. I'm just going to screen share here a little bit. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to, to show you this here. Okay, here. So this is actually from our, our three-day uh, workbook. And uh, this is the emotional clarity chart. And this clarity chart you'll see here is emotion on one side, time on the other. You'll see all the, all, everything in here. You'll see the person, um, the problem, the product, the path, all in here. What I realized is that, oops, oops, I've skipped through there it is, is that as you do your talk, there's a certain emotional journey that you need to go on, okay? And I'm gonna explain all of this in the very next video, the whole chart and the journey. So I hope you're really enjoying uh, these little videos that I'm putting on and, and guiding you to really understand one thing. If you can master the art of moving audiences, moving groups of people through video, through webinar, through live events, you have a skill that allows you to do a lot more with the same amount of time. And uh, for those of you who wanna reach and impact a lot of people, uh, I highly suggest that, that learning to, to move and present audience is something that you choose to do. So all right, watch out for that next video. Uh, please subscribe, share this video out, leave me a comment below if you like it. And, uh, and I hope to work with you at some point about this. We do a program uh, where we do help people to get their presentations together. And if it's something you're interested in, let me know, all right? Bye for now.